episode of Ten Fashion Journey. Today, I would like to share with you my journey with the saddle shoe. The saddle shoe was very popular back in the 1940s to the 50s. And in fact, it is a staple item to all the American teenagers and also young gentlemen and young ladies. Because this pair of saddle shoe actually is as staple as the penny loafer. This is the penny loafer which is from GS Vest, which I like, which is I like to mention about it, which is really lovely. But honorable mention got to go to the saddle shoe. And what I'm sharing with you today is that I have bought a pair of saddle shoe back in the year 2010 when it has a revival across the gentlemen and ladies shoe section. Well, I have bought this pair of Kohan shoe around the year 2010 and towards December 2010 to early 2011. This is a pair of Kohan and let's come and check it out. This, this is a lovely pair of shoe and it's still actually brand new despite the box because of the over the years that it has been deteriorated. A nice a, a Kohan a card that comes with it. Lovely. And let's check out the shoe. It's still in a lovely mint condition with a leather sole. This is the Kohan Air Colton. It is the updated version of the a, a saddle shoe. This is in pure leather and also in pure leather all the way. And the tongue here, it is in red and at the back is red. You know, at the heel there, it is lovely. And let's check out the other side. Lovely. Everything is all in mint condition with a combination heel. And it also comes in a, uh, a set of shoelace. Instead of blue, you can opt for the red. Lovely. Now, let's come and look at this pair of shoe. This pair of shoe. Now, this is an updated version of the uh, saddle shoe. Foremost, the main difference whereby we can observe over here is because of the last. The last is in a slimmer width and it is more interesting and more updated because predominantly the traditional saddle shoe, the last is a bit broader on the width over here and then it is more rounder in the front, in the toe. So, but however, the updated version whereby what it really attracted me is because it got a much more slimmer and much more pointier last which makes it a bit more slicklier and also dressier and also at the same time the simple word is that it looks more sexy on the gentleman feet. And then the beauty about it is that it comes around this time in a full leather sole because previously and traditionally the saddle shoe it comes in a rubber red creep sole which is a vibram red creep sole. And I love about it is that it makes and add on a bit more pop colors into it. That's why they have a pop red tongue and then also with a pop red insole and then and the back heel. This make it really very interesting. The beauty about it is that because it comes in the leather sole, it is more dressier. You can wear it with a suit. It's lovely with a blazer and also especially with cotton suits and also with a uh, seersucker suit. This is really lovely and then it maintains the traditional a uh, design which is uh, it comes with the uh, perforation which is ultimately lovely and this pair of a uh, Cohen Colton by their designer is really excellent in the sense that it can capture and give new life to the new audience that was back in 2010 and it comes in a variety of colors and combination in fact it comes in the denim saddle and then it comes in new bar and it comes in sweet and with all the combination of different types of pop colors it is really lovely and i hope that you like this episode and as for the following episode i'll be touching on the traditional dress saddle which is in full hoving leather 
Do check it out and please press the subscribe button and I look forward to see you in the next episode of Ken Fashion Journey. Bye.